My name is Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira, I'm a Pride fighter. Uh, I was uh, champ of the world 2001-2003 and uh, 2000 uh, WEF world champion for in USA. So in 2004 I got the second place in the, the GP Worlds, but this year I'm going to follow the first place. I started judo when I was four years old, and uh, I like very much. I did a little bit taekwondo after when I was uh, like nine years old, but I can say I, can, I don't like to kick too much. <laughs> and uh, we started boxing uh, when I was uh, 14, and I love boxing. I think uh, box, box and jiu-jitsu is my favorites, you know, and I started jiu-jitsu when I was 18 years old. And uh, I did everything a little bit, you know, a little bit Muay Thai, a little bit kickboxing, you know, but Muay Thai was I, I still doing with um, uh, Luis Alvarez Master. So actually now I'm doing the wrestling, Jiu Jitsu, boxing and Muay Thai. So I'm doing kind of everything, you know, but my best things, I think uh, I go always and look for the submission on the, my fights. In Brazil is uh, 1994. Uh, after Royce Gracie goes to the UFC, you know, everybody starts to know about the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know. Before, it was a very, like, a common in the Rio de Janeiro city, everybody does Jiu-Jitsu, but uh, Jiu-Jitsu wasn't show for the whole Brazil. In 1994, Royce Gracie started to fight in the UFC, so everybody could to see how the Jiu-Jitsu works against another uh, martial arts. I think uh, uh, when the grappling, you know, I think the jiu-jitsu is more efficient uh, uh, martial arts because uh, you, you uh, can mobilize and make the submission, you know. And uh, after that, the jiu-jitsu growing very fast in Brazil and now is all over the world. In uh, 1998, I moved to America. And uh, there you, you could see uh, the phenomenon of uh, MMA was growing very fast, which made fighting and everybody. And I opened up a gym in the 99 in Fort Lauderdale in America. And I started to teach over there. I have a pretty much good class with 50 students, you know. I like very much to teach. But uh, many guys from uh, World Extreme Fight, WAF, start to come to my gym to train with me. And uh, every day I train with those guys, and I, I, I feel, you know, I submit them a lot. I could train, inspire them with boxing and think, why well, am I not going to WAFA, you know? Uh, but I, I, before, you know, like a normal guy, I thought MMA is kind of violent, you know? But if you prepare yourself to fight, it's not violent, you know? Who is going to the ring have to be like 100% prepared. So I prepare myself and I make this ch challenge of my life. I want to be a champ of this, and I did. Uh, my first MMI fight was in 99. Uh, I fought, fought against David Dodd, some uh, American guy. He was a wrestler, he did, he did a little bit of jiu-jitsu, very good boxing. And uh, he's much heavy, he was much heavier than me. It was a big challenge of me because he had like 11 fights, 11 wins, and it was my first fight. So uh, I did a very good match against him. I wasn't 100% prepared, you know. I, I fight like a jiu-jitsu fighter, you know. I always play the guard, I try to do like smart movements, but he was much heavy and much tough than me. But after five to seven minutes of the fight, I find a way to fight, you know, and I submit him uh, in the kind of uh, crucifixo. It's some, uh, some uh, kind of submission, like a choke. And it was very beautiful submit and I was very satisfied. Uh, we, I got a lot, very much respect for all the fighters, you know, because the men who goes to the ring 
deserve a lot of respect. The, the Japanese people, they, they do a lot of respects for us because uh, they think uh, we like uh, over me. We are like samurais, you know? That's, that's why we, a, lot of, a lot of respect for anyone who fights. But of course, you know, we have a little bit of rivality against another guys, you know, because we try to be the best on the top. And to be the top, you have to win against all those guys, you know. So uh, we do 100% there in the ring. But uh, against, example, the shoot boxing guys, they are the best there in Brazil, them and shoot in Brazilian top team. So we have like a 10 fights in the MMA. So that's a draw. 10 fights for top team, 10 fights for, for, for uh, 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 shoot box, you know. And uh, that's when we stop in the ring and fight against the shoot boxing guys, we try to do 150%. It's not 100%. We push ourselves because, you know, they're very good opponents. Yeah, uh, I told you uh, I start uh, when I was 15 years old, I started boxing, you know, like 14 to 15, and uh, even before the jiu-jitsu. But when I met the jiu-jitsu, you know, I was training box like twice, twice a day, you know. I started to train more jiu-jitsu, a little bit boxing. But now I know I need the boxing, you know, not only because the punch, because who knows boxing knows to walk in the ring, you know. You never be in the corner, you always move around. So I think that's the best thing, you know. I never take pressure, you know, when I'm doing boxing, you know. So I think it's the best combination of boxing and jiu-jitsu and wrestling, I think it's the best combination. So I'm doing very good. Uh, two years ago, I, my coach, he used to teach me before. He calls me and invites me to go to the Brazilian uh, 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 trial for Olympic team, you know. And I went there to, the, to the, the, the trial inside. I won one fight, I lost another fight, you know. So I couldn't go to the really trial of the Olympic, you know, because they have a pride GP, GP 2004. So I was really much concentrate, you know, on my fights. So I couldn't go, but uh, I love very much. You know, always I have time, I go to Salvador and stay there three weeks, you know, doing the boxing, I think it's perfect. Uh, I just fought him like two weeks ago, you know, one week ago, something like. Uh, he's so heavy, you know, and I make a good uh, game plan, you know. I was trying to, you know, to keep him standing and to fight against him. Then we go to the ground, but when the fight starts, he just go come to me, you know, and uh, I try to 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 throw him, and he. Did a very good sprawl, so I, I used one position I like very much in his arm. Then I turned over and I was in the top. And when, the, when I was in the top, you know, I would have pretty much control. I'm going to finish the fight. And I, I didn't uh, let him move until the fight was end. I did a very nice uh, Juji Gatami, you know, arm lock. And uh, I finished the fight in two minutes, I think, two, two minutes and a half. All of them. Uh, I would like to fight uh, Josh Barnett, Yoshida, and Fedor. When those three guys uh, come, you know, I'm going to be ready for them. And, uh, and uh, I believe I go to the, uh, the next one, next step. This one going to be the final. I think that's one going to be very tough.